In this video, I'm gonna let you know how I got scammed $10,000 when I was flipping phones. But before we even get started with this video, this is a series. If you haven't seen the first video, it's right here. Go check it out so this video makes sense. But if you've seen that one, keep watching. Two years into flipping phones, right? I had made a name for myself. I had some new connections. I had a good amount of capital. Everything was going good, right? What some people would do, right? Wholesale real estate is basically when it's a person, they connect a seller with a buyer, right? So someone, just say for instance, someone has a property for $200,000. The wholesaler is going to find a buyer that can buy it for 210 and then they gonna make a little $10,000 profit whenever they close the deal. That's kind of the same thing similar to wholesaler iPhones, right? This happened about, this was in 2019. I remember 2019, the XS Maxis was very, very hot in demand. Everybody wanted it because Apple had just released a new type of phone. You know, they was always with the smaller phones, but this time they went from the iPhone X to the XS and then the XS Max. So everybody was selling them for three, $400 with over retail. So this guy who do business with me, he hit me up, he was like, yo, right? I'm like, what's good? He's like, yo, man, I got this deal. These people, they got 10, 20 XS Maxes. They trying to get like 500 for them. I'm like, for real? Let me be the first person to tell you, bro. Anytime the deal is too good to be true, nine times out of 10, it's too good to be true. But I wasn't really thinking about that. You know what I'm saying? Like I always say, don't chase money. The only, the only thing I'm thinking about is making money, right? So I said, okay, cool, bro. Where we gonna meet him? He's like, bro, okay, I already got the location. He sent me the location. I'm on the way. I'm driving like 20 minutes to get there. He link up with me. We meet up at a McDonald's. At this time, it's dark too, but he with me, I'm with him. It ain't really no sketchy stuff. So we go inside McDonald's as two older gentlemen. This guy these people, these men, they could have been my, my dad. They was in their 50s, early 50s, right? So we having a conversation. I'm like, man, what you got? He telling me, man, I got excess maxes, da, 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 da. I said, all right, bro, bring him inside. This is when I was supposed to have my guard up, but I don't know why. So he was like, oh, no, nah, man, it's in the trunk. Let's go outside and look at him. I go outside. His car is right in, right in front of, like you said, it's like right there. So my guy is two of them. My guy is with the other dude, making sure everything goes straight. I'm the one that's looking at the product. So everything is my fault. Anything that happens to you as a person, it's always your fault. Don't blame somebody. Everything is my fault. He opened them. He got a whole bunch of phones, whole bunch. This is how they get you. He get one. He already know he know. He get one. He started showing it to me. He like, oh, look, man, you see, man, it, it, it turns on. Everything's good. I said, oh, yeah, yeah. But in the back of my head, I'm not really even thinking, like, because he's so, they are very, very good at doing this. It's very, very hard to explain. They are very, very good at doing this. I'm about to get them for $500. The only thing I'm thinking about is I'm about to make $5,000 in 30 minutes. I ain't, I don't see no type of red flags. It's, 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 listen. It's a lot of red flags around me, right? But I'm not, I'm not taking precaution. Bro, if you getting a crazy deal, who cares if you open it? Open it! What, they gonna take off 20, 30 dollars because you open it? So what? We about to make bands, it don't matter. But I didn't do that because I wanna make him happy, right? I want him to continue to sell me. No, bro, I should've opened all of them. But I ain't do it, I ain't open it, right? So without either hesitating, I looked at I said, oh yeah, bro, you on, 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 oh yeah, bro, we good, we good. Give him 10 bands. <laughs> I gave him 10 bands just like that, right? So me and my boy, after they, after that, after they counted the money, transferred from his car to my car, put him in the trunk, everything was good. Me and my boy, we was talking, he was like, yo man, Ralph, bro, back that up, back that up, man. I was like, all right, bro, I'ma go to the crib, I'ma make sure everything good, we, I'ma, I'ma send you a bread. So as I'm going to the crib, right? <laughs> I'm like, bro, I'm gonna make some money. I'm happy and shit, I'm happy right now. I'm happy, I'm like, I, I'm thinking I hit the jackpot. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking I hit the jackpot. I get to the crib, I had a bag, it was, it, was, it was in a duffel. I get to my room, I place the phones on the bed. And when I looked at these phones, I was like, nah. How did I let this happen to me? I don't know how I did that, bro. Like, I don't even know how I did it, bro. I swear to you, bro. I was so shocked. The reason why this was so sad to me, because I had, I was in the phone game for two years already. It was one time somebody had tried to do that to me, but his phone was fake, so I already knew. Like, I like I was I was messing with it. it I'm like, nah, bro, this 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 ain't no real phone. So I don't even know how I didn't even open the box, look at the phone, do XYZ. They was just too good. The thing that made this situation so bad is that these were not fake iPhones because if you want to know if an iPhone fake, just see if you got Siri. If it don't got Siri, it's a fake. These was not even iPhones, bro. These was prototypes. These was the phones that you go to the stores and they just a display. It's just a dummy. That's why it was so bad because it was no way coming from the L. So I'm looking at this like, dog, oh, what the hell? How does this happen? I'm, I'm like, I'm like mad, but I'm like, damn, bro, you tweaking. Like, how do I let this happen? I called and I'm like, 
Well, I said his name. <laughs> Whatever. I called Vin. I'm like, yo, dog, bro, all these shit's fake. He like, what you mean? I said, bro, these dummy phones, kid. I said, bro, call them boys back. You already right, know them boys ain't pick up the phone. <laughs> I'm gonna throw the picture right now. This is how them boys look. You see how them boys look? Look, man. You see how them boys look? Them boys, thing that make these people so crazy, they got multiple people with this, bruh. That's why I say they were good. Somebody who I do business with right now, he told me, he was like, yo, you remember them people who had did X, Y, Z? I was like, yeah, bro. He was like, you ever bounce back? I was like, bro, of course we bounce back. We always bounce back, but around when I was 19 years old, right, I went to the seminar. I always been on trying to make money doing other things. I always been an entrepreneur at heart since I was 19. And I went to this event, and the event, the only thing I really could remember, they told me, when you going into any type of situation, always keep the same mood. Like, don't be too high, too eager, too excited, or don't be too low. Always keep the same mood because if you keep the same mood, you're going to be okay. Since I went into the deal, so oh, I want to. That's why that happened to me. But it's okay, bro. Everything is a lesson. It's only a L if it continues to happen to you, bro. That's my story. How I lost ten thousand dollars. It's really over two hundred, but that's ten thousand dollars off fake iPhone XS Max or whatever, whatever. Uh, we got more videos coming like this soon. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button, share it with a friend. All my lessons, called, I just share it with y'all to to let y'all know that when you see the YouTube. YouTube channels and you see the Instagram and the TikTok, you see all these phones, bro. I didn't start like this, bro. I've been robbed. I lost a lot of money in this game, bro. Sometimes I'll be driving and, and I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. I talk to myself and I be like, damn, bro, I've been through a lot of stuff. But it's always, it's always somebody that been through something more and, and more tragic. This just teaches me how to like survive, bro, because I don't have a guaranteed income, bro. So for me to make a living for myself with no college education, you know, I dropped the EP, no college education. It's out everywhere. You go stream it. I got no college education. I used to get F's and D's in high school and for me even though to some people that might be chump change to make a $500 in a day or a thousand dollars in a day but for me from like where I come from because one thing I learned as a person you're not supposed to compare yourself to other people bro the only person you're supposed to compete with is yourself bro and then you're going to see tremendous growth if you're interested in how to learn how to make money with iPhones flipping iPhones electronics eBay Macari Facebook marketplace everything I got a free training on the YouTube, the video right here. And also I wrote an ebook if you're interested, check it out if you want to. I, I give you the basics, I give you everything, but right now I'm talking too much, so that's the video. Thank y'all for tuning in with me. I'm gonna see y'all next week, and we are gonna talk about how people of the same skin complexion always trying to kill me. With that, you already know what I always say, don't chase the money, like and subscribe, tell your mama I love her, and we Ali.